Hey everyone, so I'm back with another video. I just wanted to do a quick review on the Sigma Make Me Up brush kit that I recently got from SigmaBeauty.com. Um, they come in four different colors. I got the aqua color, which is Make Me Cool. And each box has a list of the brushes on the side. And it comes in three other colors, um, and they're all named differently depending on the color that you get. And the black one is Make Me Classy, the purple one is Make Me Crazy, and the coral one is Make Me Blush. And each kit comes with 12 pieces, uh, 12 brushes, uh, 4 brushes for the face, and 8 brushes for the eyes. And each kit is $99, so definitely check out the website. They also have other products on there that you can, you know, check out um, in addition to this kit, and you can, you know, see what kind of colors they have. And like I said, the 12 piece kit comes in a nice nifty little doohickey right here. And even though little is an understatement, it's pretty handy to have and it's sturdy. And it comes with these snap on buttons on each side that just kind of pop off. And when you open it, voila, you have brushes of course and they magically turn into a whole little system here because you have two brush holders and for you makeup artists on the go you're gonna love this because you can use one little cup for your dirty brushes that you'll sanitize later and of course another cup that's gonna hold your brushes as you go along so this is really nifty to have um, and it kinda keeps everything organized um, in terms of what brushes are dirty what brushes are clean and like I said, they come, this whole kit has 12 brushes, and I'm going to explain each brush as we go along. And just in case you're overwhelmed and you don't know what brush is what, especially for you um, people that are new to makeup um, and don't really know what brush to use and where to use them, it, you know, each one comes with its own little booklet here, this little pamphlet that kind of details each brush and its use. So that's nifty to have. So the first one is the large powder brush in um, F30, of course F meaning for the face. And what's cool is that the four large brushes for the face come with this little plastic protective sleeve that you can just slide off, which is great for protecting your brushes and maintaining its shape as well as protecting it from bacteria, so that's nifty. Um, the bristles are really nice and soft, and you know it's hard to really explain it um, on video, but if you ever get these in person, you will definitely notice that it's of high quality and they're really sturdy, um, and they just don't feel you know cheap or scratchy like some brushes that you you know you'll find in in other places. So it's it's a really good deal. Um, and of course the large powder brush is great for um, you know dusting off um, any finishing powders, minerals, as well as um, just taking away some of that shine if you want to lightly dust um, you know for touch-ups this is great too. Um, they have a dual fiber brush in F50 which is great for light application of blushes or light contouring as well as getting any loose eyeshadows or you know loose powders on your face sweeping it off um, you know and just for comparison purposes I have a MAC brush that's similar I believe this is the MAC 188 brush from 180 um, can't really tell since it's scratched off but I believe it's 188 um, or 138 I don't know one of them um, but it has this it's a little bit smaller the Mac brush but of course you could tell they're from the same family which is which is great because this is used for you know maybe like the apples of the cheeks or smaller areas and you can kind of get more with this one so this is their version of the dual fiber brush which is really nifty it's probably one of my favorite brushes the next brush is the large angled contour brush as you can see here and this is great for also contouring the face, applying bronzer, um, sweeping the cheeks to apply a little bit of color on there. This is great as well. 
uh, the last of the face brushes of the, is the Foundation F60 brush, which of course is great for applying cream, liquid foundations. Um, you can also use it to apply moisturizers. Uh, these are synthetic bristles. And on my blog, NecessaryMakeup.com, I will discuss um, you know, each brush in detail as well as you know, naming which one is synthetic and natural brushes. But again, that's pretty much the foundation brush. I hardly use that, but since I've been getting into liquid foundation lately, I definitely have that on my list of brushes to try out. So the next one, and again that's it for the base brushes, are these four. Now to onto the eye brushes. This is their tapered blending brush in E40. And this is great for blending eyeshadow colors together um, on the crease, highlighting the brow bone, um, or even just blending the outer corners of the eye or whatnot. There's a lot of great uses for the blending brush. And that's also equivalent to the MAC, I believe, 217 brush, um, in case you need to compare and contrast. The next one is their large shader brush in E60. And this is a really huge brush. Um, you know, it, it may not look as big, but you know, in person, in comparison to my eye, I thought it was pretty big, at least to, from what I'm um, normally used to using uh, for everyday looks. But this is great for applying all over color uh, on your entire lid. So this is definitely nice to have. And I believe this one's also, um, I believe, synthetic bristles. So it's great to apply also pigments, like loose pigments, um, with a mixing medium because they'll definitely stick on these kind of bristles to make application that much easier. The next one is their regular um, eye shading brush in E55. And of course, that's great for applying eyeshadow. You can also use it to apply um, eyeshadow in the crease or the outer corners of the eye. And their, their medium angled shading brush in E70 is just as good as well for applying makeup on the crease or even using it to blend the outer corners because it's very loose and fluffy. Um, so that's also nice to, to have in the collection. And um, they have a small angled eyeliner brush in E65. And that's also nifty to have to apply their, um, you know, to apply cream or gel eyeliners on your upper lower lash line. I personally don't like angled eyeliners. I prefer the more precise bent tip eyeliners or even the ones that are like this which is next up which is their eyeliner brush in E05 and it's pointed if you could see so it's really good at getting a precise line you know on your upper. and the next brush um, in the collection is the pencil brush in E30 and I actually really love this brush and the reason why I love this brush so much is because there are not a lot of brush collections that I've seen anyway that have this kind of a brush. I mean it's a small fine tipped um, brush and what I love about it is because it has so many uses. Um, you know you could apply a little bit of color on the outer V, um, especially like the hard to reach places or for even girls that don't really have a defined crease. Um, this just allows you to get into those tight areas to make a, make a crease. Um, and then of course, just gently applying more color as you go along and blending it. Um, and so I really like this because there's so many shading brushes out there that are a little bit too big for the eyelid area. Um, and this is just the right size to kind of build up on that until you get it to the way you want it. So I really like that that brush is in the collection. Um, the last brush is the concealer brush in F70. And even though they're, they're, they count this one as a face brush, to me it's an eye brush um, just because I tend to use it to conceal the eye, but of course you can also use it to conceal um, certain spots on the face and whatnot. Um, and I also use this to apply 
you know, MAC pigments or even loose mineral pigments um, with the mixing medium because this is also synthetic bristles. Um, so it makes application that much easier um, and less messy. So this is a pretty much a good starter collection for those of you that are looking for a good brush kit to just have and last you a very long time without spending too much money. Um, Cause it's $99 for 12 brushes and of course it comes with a nice little cup holder slash travel case. And um, the only collect, I mean the only brush that it doesn't have is a lip brush. Um, but you could easily get that anywhere. Um, and you know add it to the collection if you want um, but other than that I think it's a great collection to start off with and again you can get it on sigmabeauty.com and it's $99 so that's a steal and that's pretty much it and you can find more pictures on my blog necessarymakeup.com thanks for watching